Um, part way through the process of following the instructions, putting it together, put the smooth rods in here. I'm not going to show you all completely putting it together, but just want to try and, if I can, show you inside these bearings. Because quite a lot of printers use uh, like ball bearing, linear bearing type things. These. Can I get the light? Oops. Careful. These look a bit unusual to me. Let me see in that top one if I can get that. make out the uh, it's almost like it's got holes in it I don't think it's got any balls ball races on it at all anyway just thought I'd show you that the bell will be able to take in some oil that's a good one be careful using the allen key because as you come around like that it could scratch the build surface that's one reason I've got this on here but you can put these in a little bit of an angle because I do have the ball type thing on the end there so you can put them in a bit of an angle would have been probably better to have these screws on the outside actually I think a bit easier to get in it and it says insert the uh, optical rods through the slider so you have to select Put these into the uh, slider mechanism really before you screw them in here okay because the belts won't reach up that high check that the smooth rods are in all the way i would say loosen the screws off a bit first push them right down make sure they're in there solid tighten up in the two nuts well, balls on each one make sure the belts in between and basically that's that's that part so I reckon a little bit less than halfway through that's my main light up there Yep, coming along. I would say you want to allow an hour. Take your time, don't rush it. Then you put on the top part there. Make, again, make sure that the smooth rod's going all the way. Tighten up the six balls there in here. I haven't done that yet. I'll do that just now. Obviously, make sure that you've got the right way around with the FL Sun sort of on the front where the display is that's presumably you want the FL Sun showing up be careful of the micro switches at the top there and the wiring when you're putting the smooth rods in so put one belt on I haven't totally tightened it up just somewhere near you can adjust the tightness up here that's what you fasten it on with like a pulley thing I would say that when you put down this you can pull on these but be careful it doesn't turn the steppers too quick underneath it probably just slip over the steppers you probably hear it but steppers can generate electricity if they turned and that could back feed into the circuit board the main control board just to be safe there so just a little tip I uncoiled the uh, end stop micro switches because when they bundled up again the way a bit I found so there's a hole in the top there that this sort of bolt 
bearing sort of thing goes into and obviously you can adjust that up and down a bit on those like thumb screw type things here. So making reasonably good progress here. Put all three like thumb screws on, tighten them up a bit. You can pluck the timing belts. One side seems better than the others for playing the guitar on. Right, okay. Uh, don't think there's anything major there to talk home about. A little bit fiddly because you're on the go. Almost underneath, find a hole, poke it through. Make sure the belts are not twisted, obviously. That's a pair of instructions. Clip the three sort of end stops which are at the top. Don't forget. In. Take your time, make sure they're going the right way around. Notice I still have this foam on here to protect the hot end from scraping. I think this does have a plastic coating on, well cover on that you'll have to peel off. Pretty sure, but that gives it a bit extra protection while you're working on it. And you nuts and bolts drop. Protect your bill plate. Or look after your bill plate. It's hole in there for the uh, feeding mechanism. I'll have to check because this is going to go in my server cabinet and it might just about squeeze in. I might try that just now actually take this upstairs as it is and try it. See how much space I've got at the top but I won't have much space. I'll just show you this. It's almost like a pipe here. A pipe with a, like a cut out in. Oh, one good thing about those trimmers. These. Where are they? Come in. Uh, good for doing undone tie wraps. Snip. But be careful you don't cut the wires if you've got any wires. So there's a the plug end of that. I think there's nine pins. I'm not going to count them. But you'll count them if you want. So I'll probably take this tube off here and have this probably going in the side. Uh, at the top, somehow there's a, there is a hole there, I don't know what that's for. Because um, this is supposed to go in there, I believe. And then, like from the from the, uh, the other end, if I can... The other end plugs, plugs in, into it from above. But I don't think I'll have room to do that in my server cabinet, so I'll have to come in from the side. 